סיוון הנדלסמן, אבי חדש, קובי ליליאן, שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Congratulations on your new musical, play. I don't know even how to describe it. It was so wonderful. The journey of Uncle, Uncle Max. Max. And this is part of a festival taking place in uh, Bed Tummy in Tel Aviv. Uh, testing Tools number nine. So, we have a clip of the... opening of the play. What can you tell us about it? About the opening? About the play? Ah, about the play. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's actually, it's not a play. It's a children book of Hanoch Levin. And we took it and just tried to make it our own. And to try to investigate like the world of Hanoch Levin. From our point of view and also from the musical point of view of Kobe <laughs> that composed all the book. And this is the time <laughs> to mention that yeah. it was brilliant music. Thank you very much. <laughs> and also performed by you because you were sitting yeah. by the piano exactly. and could, contributing from time to time with text. Yeah. So how long did it take you to compose yeah, this book? It took book? me like, I actually I did it uh, two years ago and it took me like to compose all the book like it was very quick actually. It took me like one, three weeks or three, four weeks to do it. Amazing. Yeah, it went <laughs> under, very quickly. Uh, uh, under time pressure. Under time pressure. And, and under Sivan's leadership. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> she runs a Thai chip. Yeah. We, we remember what your Gev Yefet said after <laughs> Samir and Yenata. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, very, nice. so, uh, very difficult to work with. And uh, yeah, we had uh, the inspiration to do it. And uh, that's it. And then Sivan directed it. Wonderful. Yes, you, we recognize the touch, Sivan. And Avi, you are Uncle Max? I'm Uncle Max. How is it playing uh, Uncle Max? Oh, it's wonderful. First of all, he's, he's a grown-up, he's a child. He's both. Like all of us. Like all of us. Basically, he's a grown-up with a child still inside him, and he's looking for his father, and he meets all kinds of people and kings and tries to bring world peace or whatever. And, uh, we still, I think we see the play or the songs through his eyes as he goes from place to place, and everybody sends him to another place. Beautiful. And here comes the tough question. What makes... Uncle Max's journey Israeli or what makes it universal or both? Uh, I, th- I think, I don't know if it's really an Israeli um, I don't know, a story. It's, it's, it's international story. It's an international story. But I think what makes it is, like Israeli is the um, style, the writing style of Hanukkah. Which is unique. Of course. Which is genius in my opinion. Amazing. <laughs> and One of the greatest geniuses ever born here. <laughs> Not here, in all, all around the world. Absolutely, I agree. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so I think that's what makes it. And sometimes, especially when one knows a bit about uh, Hanoch Levin's uh, vast work, the masterpieces he left behind, it's almost impossible to imagine that this is a children's book. Yes, I know. Amazing. I don't feel like it's a children book. I feel like it's a grown-up book in a children cover or something. Yeah. Such a genius he has been. <laughs> so, what can we wish uh, Uncle Max's journey? Where would you like it to take you? In Israel? Abroad? All over the world, if, if we may. <laughs> Because it's universal. Yeah. Yes, we hope it keeps going, that the journey keeps going and going. And also we hope that the audience will, will be in, in the journey with us all the time. So we join you on these uh, wishes. Thank you. And we want to thank you for enriching our lives with this uh, play tonight. And uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.